there you guys I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step-by-step -step how to make these lacy flower seed beads earrings with my easy step-by-step -step instructions I'm sure you're gonna be able to do them by yourself if you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more absolutely free tutorials like this Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for this one. Check description for useful resources, also a link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for these earrings are two colors of 11 ounce seed beads. One is really dark blue, almost black, and the other is white. I'm also using earring findings. This is Naimu nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. I'm using size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take a, a little bit more than half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step, what I'm going to pick up on my needle are 28 of these beautiful dark blue beads. And in my next step, I'm going to slide all of those down. And as I have them here like that, I want to go through as many of those back in circle like this. Okay, you see what I have now. Then I will go through the rest of them. And I will go until my main thread and my tail thread meet, guys. You see here, they meet in one point. I will stick now my needle in my mat. And what I want to do is to make a knot here. And I make it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Then I pull really gently okay like this then i will go through some more beads in this direction in my next step i'm taking three white beads and as i'm exiting here after this bead you see I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay. And I have this. Then I, I also want to go through the next C bit. And I'm taking one white bit, this time just one. And I go back through this bead that I have here, in, back in circle. So now I have a loop between this bead in the center and this newly added white bead. You see, this is what I have. Then what I want to do is to go one more bead in this direction. I take three white beads, I skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. And of course, after that, I go through the next one, take one. And now just to save time, I will go through this one that I'm exiting out of, back in circle like before, but I will also go in the next bead 
just to save time. Then I will take three beads again and I will skip the one that's on my way and I go through the next two this time again just to save time, just to save one movement of repositioning after I do my loop of beads. Then I need one and I go backwards through the one that I'm exiting out of and through the following. I have this. Of course here I need three beads, skip one and go through the next two just to save time. If you want you could go through one and then through one more if it's easier for you. Okay and I will continue this adding three and adding one with a one bead space distance between them and I'll be back. Okay guys and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last white bead from this row. Okay, I'm adding it. Then what I want to do is to go in this direction through this bead. In this way I'm changing directions but don't worry. Okay, and uh, what I prefer to do now after I exited here is to flip my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction. If it's easier for you, you could go in the other direction. And I take two dark beads and go here in the one that's sticking out. Two darks go again here. Two again. And this row guys is really pleasant and really easy. Just add two beads everywhere. At the beads that are sticking out the most. Okay, continue this and meet me here. Okay guys, and these are the last two black beads that I'm adding here. And in my next step I will do an interesting thing. I'm going here through these two dark beads. I take three darks and I go in this direction reaching the white bead. Now I have this. Then again I go through two dark beads, take three And go in this direction like this. Again, three beads. Go like this and I will continue these guys until the end of this row and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I am where I need to add three more beads. And I go through the next black bead. Sorry, dark bead. And I take two dark, one white and two dark, five beads in total. Then I go through the dark bead which is one dark bead away from the white angle so now guys i have this then i want to go through this bead that is sticking out the most the middle of the tree that i added in my previous step and I take three white beads and as I'm exiting here I go back in circle through this dark one. Then 
then what I want to do is go through two dark beads because I want to be exiting here one dark bead away from the white angle and I take two dark, one white, two dark go here in the second dark one counting from the white angle then exit here through the middle of the three beads that I added before three go backwards like this go through the next two take the same sequence again go in the second dark after the white inner angle okay guys and I will continue absolutely the same thing until the end here three whites at the top here five beads two dark one white and two darks at the angle and I will do this until the end and meet you here if you forget how I'm doing it just rewind the video from here and repeat these steps until the end okay see you in a while okay dear friends and here I am at my last step of this row where I'm adding my last three white beads here at the top it is absolutely the same thing now what I want to do guys is go in this direction and my goal is to reach the next white angle so here I am exiting out of this white bead and I take five dark beads okay I have five of those and as I'm exiting here I go in the one that is sticking out the most I need five again and I go in the next white that is sticking out five go in the sticky Audi again five go here and in this row guys I'm gonna be adding five beads everywhere five here five here five here and when I finish this row I'll meet you at this side okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row now what I'm going to do in the next row is go through the first of those five beads that I added in my previous row okay here I am I take three beads here and I skip the next two beads and go through the following I have this I take four beads go in the second blue bead after the white angle and I have this and I take three again and then I skip two and go through the last dark bead here and through the white at the angle if you can in one movement then again I will add three for three first I go through this dark bead which is right after the angle I take three white beads skip the two that are on my way and go through the next one take four white beads and go through the second dark bead after the white angle here and again three as I said three four and three and then I go through the last dark bead and through the white 
Okay, I'll show you one more time at the next so-called petal. Okay, I go here through the first dark bead. I take three white beads, skip the next two and go through the following. Now I'm one dark bead away from the angle. This time I take four beads, as you may see, and I go here in the second dark bead after the angle. Take three beads after that and go through the last dark at the angle and through the white. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end and when I'm ready I'll meet you here. Feel free to rewind the video and repeat the steps over and over until you're ready. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last three beads from this row. And I go here again at the bead that is next to the white at the angle. Then through the next few beads and my goal is to go through all of those three white beads here. I take two white beads and I go through these two middle white beads of the four that I added before. Take two white beads and go through all of those three beads here in this direction. Here I need one white bead. And I go through these three two white beads, go through the two central whites, two white beads, go through the next three. one white bead and go through these three that are on my way. Two whites, go through the two whites in the center. Two whites, go in the three that are after that. Then I take one white and go here through the next three. Just like this. And I will continue two, go through two, two, go through three, one. And I go through those three and I will continue these guys until the end. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat these three steps from here and I'll meet you at the end. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step of this row and I'm going again in this direction to all of those three beads and then through the two that I added in my previous row. And what I need to add here are three beads. I skip those two that are here in the center. And then I go through four beads in this direction. Take three dark beads, skip one, two, three, and go in this direction through four beads. Okay. Here 
Here I am guys, where I need to add three white beads. And after I add them, I go through four beads in this direction. Three dark beads, skip one, two, three. And go through these four, aiming for the angle. At the angle, I need three beads. Skip those and go through four. I also need three dark beads. Skip one, two, three at the angle. And go through these four. Okay, and I will continue this absolutely the same way. Here I add three whites at the angle, I add three darks, and I will do this until the end, and I'll meet you here. Okay, my friends, and here I am where I'm adding my last three white beads from this row, and I also need to add these three dark beads from this row. Okay, and I'll do additional thread pad. I will just go around the edges of my work. And I also want to add here, at the dark beads, white beads. I'm exiting out of the first dark. Take three white beads and skip the central one and go through the following. In this way, I'm straightening, strengthening the edge of my work. And I'm also adding these cute little white three beads that are sticking out and they enhance this lacy look of my work okay i go through the first dark bead and i add three white beads Okay, and I think you get the idea. Now I will continue this until the end and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step. Where I'm adding these three white beads at this row. Now, if your work bends a little bit, you could put it in a heavy book for a few hours. They then take transparent nail polish, clear na nail polish, and put it on gently, and then it will straighten up. Also, don't use monofilament for this one, only soft nylon thread. Okay guys, and here I'm exiting out of this bead, which is one of the three beads that I added in my previous step. Okay, one, two, three at the top. Then I will take two dark beads, my earring finding and two dark beads. And as I'm exiting from this white bead, I'm going in the third one, skipping the central one of this tree, which is the second one and going in the third one. Okay, now what I want to do is to reinforce this joint.
and after I reinforce it I want to go here at the edge and I want to make a knot and cut my thread make here a loop go twice through the loop I've made make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from pull go in the next one or two beads and then cut your thread okay guys and now my lacy flower seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't in this way you will be inspired two or three times a week when i post new videos down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials by the way, thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support for me. I can't thank you enough for these actions. And also you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Thank you for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.